Could you talk a little bit about that and, and specifically, you know, some of the unique ways that youth are, are poised to lead because of being kind of digitally savvy and, and, and digital native? IREX has a number of programs um, on governance um, that leverages technology and digital technology um, and really enhances what young people are already doing. Um, one of our programs, the Mandela Washington Fellowships, works across um, young people, young leaders in sub-Saharan Africa that are already impactful, impacting governance spaces. And these young people are coming to the United States, learning from, their, from each other, learning from um, education spaces on how to actually better improve what they're doing. And one of the stories I, I really appreciate and love from this program is we had a young person um, that participated in the program went back to their country and they were actually faced with a challenge um, a challenge they were trying to get on a, on a plane they had a disability and the plane had no disability accommodations in their country um, and so they couldn't go to the destination where they're going to immediately this young person uses digital technology, connects with their peers um, from the program and, and um, other leaders in the country, young leaders in the country, and they advocate for change. Within months, there is po a policy made for these planes to have accommodations. This is to me like a prime example of how digital technology, youth leadership, and governance, um, um, people in government that may or may not be youth can be shaped positively to make change. <laughs>